Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna to try one of these new, it's new, Hungry Man Double Meat Bowls. Um, I've never seen these in the store, so they must be literally be new. Uh, 29 games, grams of protein per serving, that's cool. Um, these were $4.29 at Kroger, so not super cheap, but not really expensive. So uh, anyway, Hunger Man Double Meat Bowls, this one is the Angus Meatloaf. It has two meatloaf slices, plus cheddar cheese grits, which I love. Uh, red peppers and onions and a bourbon gravy. So that's what it kind of looks like. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see, calories, we, do, we don't want to know calories, honestly. 580 calories if you eat the whole thing, the whole meal. And there's the other stuff for you. Hey, it's got ha almost half your daily fat content in one meal. And 84% of your sodium content for, for one day. Wow, that's, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, so there we go, but it's got over half of your protein for the day. So there's kind of the picture of what it looks like, what we expect in here. So how do we cook these? Does, I don't see anything but um, microwave oven directions. So just to let you know, I'm looking over the package. I don't see any other directions. So we're going to cook on high. Does it say in the amount? No, just cook one at a time. Okay. Um, so I guess we don't vent or no, no need to vent. Uh, if I kept reading, cook on high for four and a half minutes. No need to vent. Rearrange the patties and recover. Cook an additional three and a half to four and a half minutes. I'll probably just split the difference and go four minutes. Uh, check that food is cooked thoroughly. I hope so after what is that, uh, eight eight minutes? Um, hopefully it's cooked thoroughly after eight minutes and um, handle carefully because it's gonna be hot. After eight minutes, it would be very hot. And there is a pull tab just for those that want to know, like to open things one-handed like me. I just like to get a paper cut with pull tabs, by the way. So here it is. This thing's monstrous. This thing, how, weight, how much did this weigh? Did I say? 15 ounces or 425 grams. So that's, that's how big this thing is. That's, that's big. It's a big, it's a big heavy meal. It's pretty, pretty, lots of food. So the peppers look good and the meatloaf looks good. So I'm going to get this in the microwave for forever and uh, I'll be back. All right. So here it is out of the microwave. And I got some grits out in the way there. So anyway. So I flip these um, meatloaf patties over. They really feel more like uh, like little hamburger patties, but they do fall apart pretty easily. So seem to be pretty tender. And then you've got your grits with your peppers. I don't want to stir it up too much, but I'm, I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And I'm probably going to eat it all together anyway. I mean, that's how I would normally eat it. Is I would, uh, yeah, I would mix it all together. Now for the video, I'm going to try just to eat um, one thing at a time. Anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute because it's super hot after being in the oven for the microwave for eight minutes. So I'm gonna let this cool off and uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I didn't let it cool off too much, but I'm gonna take a bite of the grits first. I'm gonna kind of try each little piece of it, kind of mix together um, or by itself as much as I can, and then I'll try to mix together. So those are um, cheddar grits. They're good. They're um, they got a good texture to them. The parts that are on the outside of the ball, like that very outside edge, they have a, like a little, like a little tough line to them, like they've dried out a bit. But the inside ones are still good and tender. I'm gonna try it with a pepper and onion and grits. I don't know if I've ever had grits with peppers and onions, but here we go. The grits there in the middle, really good and tender. Um, the pepper and onions have a really good flavor. When I was first cooking it the first time around, before I took it out and moved the meatloaf around, it smelled like stuffed peppers. You get that really strong pepper smell and then you get the meat smell, like a hamburger smell. Um, it's, it was pretty good. So let me try a piece of them. Just the meatloaf by itself. With some of the gravy, of course. That's actually really good. It has tons of flavor to it. Um, it's loose like a meatloaf should be. It's not um, dense like a hamburger patty. It's it's loose, so it's got a filler in there like a breadcrumbs or something to kind of break it up. Um, flavor is really good. The texture is really good too because sometimes they make um, they ground the the ground beef so fine that it's almost like sand. So this is good. It's in it's in bigger pieces. So that I like that. That's all, that's really good. So the meatloaf by itself. It was excellent. The grits by themselves, they're grits. They're they're good. They're they're grits. You know, grits are kind of plain um, on their own. 
So let's mix grits, meat, and um, go there, onion. I don't want you to get. I like the flavor mix of the of the meatloaf and the, the grits. Let me try the grits and a pepper and onion. Come on, this is a mixture of everything that they gave me in the bowl. Hmm. I like that quite a bit. Um, overall, it's a pretty good meal. I, I do like the flavors. I like the grits. Um, the grits are good. They're uh, they're a little dry on the edges, like I said, but in the center, they're really good and tender. Yeah, they got a good, good flavor to them. They don't taste like a really strong, like a cheddar flavor, like a cheese flavor, uh, but you can definitely tell that they're different than just plain grits, uh, if that makes any sense. The meatloaf is the star. The meatloaf and the gravy is, is excellent. It's very, very, very good. The grits and the peppers and onions are just for you to fill, to get more food with the meatloaf. That's what it basically is. So this is a good meal. Um, hmm. You know, I really can't find anything wrong with it. Um, with the exception of the grits being a little dry on the edges. And I wonder, it didn't tell me, it just said rearrange the meatloaf. It didn't say anything about stirring the grits. I wonder if I'd stirred the grits, which I did not. I only did the meatloaf. Um, if I'd stirred the grits up the, at, the, at the halfway point, um, if it would have been better, but I, I don't know. I didn't do it, so I have no way of judging. But uh, beyond that, I think the flavors and stuff are good enough to where I can give this a good solid four and a half. Um, don't think it's quite to the five. That, that I would like to give it because the meatloaf, while it's excellent, I wish it had some onions or um, peppers or something in the meatloaf itself. I really, let me put my glass on so I can see it close. Yeah, it may have a little bit of onion in there, but that's it. It really doesn't have anything. In, yeah, it does have onion in there. But, uh, and they didn't give you much of the gravy. The gravy is very, very minimal. So if they'd give me a little bit of gravy and they'd put some, um, some peppers and stuff in the actual meatloaf itself, it would have been probably been a five but four and a half is definitely a fair fair thing i could eat this all the time i don't think i could just because of the calories but it is very very good so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching